I'm going to be completely honest with you. The only reason why I went to go see this movie is because of Gary Oldman's performance as Winston Churchill. Other than that, I'm not really a big history buff or anything like that, but his performance does not disappoint. So The Darkest Hour takes place towards the beginning of World War II when Winston Churchill becomes Prime Minister. And so he has a very important decision to make because he has the entire fate of Western Europe in his hands because the army is in grave danger. And so he has to either decide to fight the Nazis or try and talk peace to Hitler. And so that's basically the premise of this movie. And a lot of the events actually happen to be with Dunkirk, which is a movie that came out earlier this year. However, this isn't that type of movie. This is more of the government side of things rather than the soldiers that are trying to sit there and survive and hold out hope. And so, I mean, it's an interesting movie. And by the way, Gary Oldman, I hope that wasn't too loud, but wow, seriously, he did fantastic as Winston Churchill. I mean, seriously, just look at him. He looks pretty daggone close to Winston Churchill. The makeup department did fantastic. I mean, Gary Oldman normally looks like this, but then he looks like this in the movie. Seriously, like I normally, my heart like jumps up for joy when I see Gary Oldman because I really like Gary Oldman. And so like, that didn't happen in this movie because he doesn't look like himself. The only part that you can really tell it's Gary Oldman and his, it's his eyes. You can tell it with his eyes and you can see it in a little bit in his voice, but his voice is even pretty close to Winston Churchill. He did fantastic as this is Winston Churchill. I mean, seriously, he will be nominated for an Oscar and I'm thinking he'll win. I'd be surprised if he didn't. He did fantastic in this role. Best part of the movie by far. I mean, even like sometimes there are times where he it's kind of hard to understand him, but it seems like because I looked up uh, voice clips of Winston Churchill afterwards and it's kind of the same way. So, I mean, it kind of works. It's just I, I don't know. There was some dialogue. I'm like, I have no idea what you said. That was a little bit of a problem. But other than that, it's an interesting movie. But considering I'm not a huge history buff i feel like if you're a history buff you'll love this movie i'm sure you will because from what i know it's pretty accurate but i really don't know a ton of stuff but there's some stuff that i found interesting then there's some stuff i found rather boring and that's probably probably because i'm not a huge history person i don't know the history behind this the history of this kind of stuff doesn't interest me a ton there's some stuff that i found really interesting some stuff i do not and so that's kind of how this movie works for me but the comedy in this movie really pulls off what it needs to do i was really surprised by it and there's multiple times i found myself laughing i mean it's not like a hard laugh and i don't feel like that's the comedy that it's supposed to do that and it just does what it's supposed to do and the comedy works really well in this movie i quite enjoyed it and like the cinematography it's really good in this movie as well. There's a shot in this movie where I'm like, wow, that was a really cool shot. I really thought that was smart, which doesn't really happen a whole lot with me. It's just like, that was a good shot. That was a pretty good shot. And the script in this movie, fantastic. The script is good. It's just, my problem with the movie is that there's some stuff that's entertaining. There's, and there's some stuff that's not. But again, I'm not a huge history buff. And so I feel like the movie's a little too long. It's just... I don't know. There were some parts that I found really boring, and then there were some parts that I was like, wow, that seems kind of interesting. I'm surprised that happened, or something like that. And it's just, I don't know. The movie's a little bit of a mixed bag, but Gary Oldman's performance makes the movie. And then it's just, I don't know. His performance is fantastic. And so for me, I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 9, and be worth seeing at matinee ticket price. However, if you, a, 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 if you are a history buff, Go see this movie. Full ticket price, no matter what, you should go see this movie because this is pretty good for you, I'm sure. And so, thank you all very much for watching this, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. And remember, no movie is a perfect 10 out of 10. God bless you all.